Hey there everyone, this is Danielle with some first thoughts on Immortals Phoenix Rising. Or Phoenix Rising? Uh, I don't know. Probably Phoenix. Um, so this is an open world, a so sort of Breath of the Wild flavoured kind of game uh, from Ubisoft. Uh, it's set in ancient Greece and you go around climbing up things and open worlding it. That kind of thing. Um, I'm sort of going into this expecting not to like it. I haven't played it before, but I've seen a housemate play it, and the writing looked real bad. So, we'll see how we go. Um, we'll see how we go. <laughs> um, there's an epilepsy warning there, so it's possible you might need to be careful. Um, because the game itself gave the warning instead of just having the console do it. I don't know if there'll be flashing lights or anything. Hmm. Immortals Phoenix Rising demo, press A to start. Checking for additional content. Uh, brightness calibration. Oh, right. I forgot about this. Look at this. I have a mouse cursor. I I'm, I'm playing on the Switch, and it's given me a mouse cursor to navigate the menus. Why? Uh, okay, uh, there's a couple of different colorblind modes, which is cool. Uh, I guess I'll just leave it disabled. But yeah, if, if you have, you know, some form of color blindness, you can adjust the colors like this to get a better idea of what's going on. So that's nice. Uh, those are probably fine. Next. Subtitles on, gameplay, camera. I'm gonna assume the defaults are fine and we'll see how we go. I choose a difficulty. Uh, I guess go, let's, let's go normal. I'm glad there's a story difficulty, that's cool. Although, as I mentioned, I remember the difficulty wasn't very... Like, the, um, the writing wasn't very good, so playing on story might not be a good idea. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I'm probably just going to go for normal and see how I go. I don't know if you can change it later. I, I would have made this screen tell you whether you can change it later, but it doesn't. Hmm... Gear and perks. Choose your equipment wisely. Weapons and gear have attack and defense stats, but also interesting perks. Perks are gameplay benefits that can complement your playstyle. Cool. <laughs> the sun rose on the palaces and temples of the Golden Isle. Their facades still and empty. The gods within, lost. But not Phoenix. Fighting with all her might, she had nearly reached Olympus on her quest to defeat Typhon, the dreaded god destroyer. But first, she would uncover a historical secret. Phoenix the visuals are quite nice. Shore, where the great warrior Philoctetes had been left to die. A snake bite festering on his foot. How did he survive this little island? Why did Odysseus pick him up and carry him to the Trojan War? A war in which Philoctetes was fated to kill Paris, the instigator of the very war that. Lord! Yeah, um. Stop fantasizing about random nobodies and tell the real story. What real story? Phoenix was about to enter the domain of the Cyclops, where world-famous hero and sailing enthusiast Odysseus had nearly met his end. It was there that she was destined to discover the lost secret of the gods. Zeus, the Cyclops' cave was in the Great Sea. Don't care. Also, forget the cave. I want to appreciate the view. Y yeah, you can kind of get Just the idea. Of what the writing is like? That's your problem. Accuracy. Because clearly I can. 
And what is this secret of the gods? Oh, you don't know about that, do you? Oh, master of knowledge? Well, well, listen and learn. Yeah, um, they're the narrators and they argue with each other constantly. Oh, what have you? I'm not looking forward to that. the Cyclops, keeper of the secret, but he was silent. The poor wretch had been frozen by the sea witch Circe's icy magic. Circe is on another completely different island. Or is she? Also, she doesn't have ice magic. Not ice. I see. She sees things and then transforms. <laughs> Kind of tempted just to skip all the cutscenes. I bet you that you cannot enlighten us with one truth during your story. Not one. Done. What's your favorite food? The fruit from Grandma Magaya's garden. Gods, I miss the taste. The juice was so rich, it would flow down my chin. Divine. Ah, oh, yeah. Those babies were delicious. Babies? From the mosaics? You know that's just a visual metaphor, right? The fruits okay. of the earth are not literally babies. Ah, that explains the soapy aftertaste. Right. If I lose the bet, you will be allowed to partake of the fruit. Now, if I may. Phoenix realized only the song of the sirens would free the Cyclops from Circe's... <sighs> Cersei, you're mine. No, oh boy. Not quite. Cersei and her pops, Poseidon, had sent reinforcements. Uh, our button? Okay, I'm just mashing the button, so it seems to work. Dodge with Y? I don't seem to need to though. I assume it'll come up later. When health is low, hold left to heal with a pomegranate. Is my health low? Which, where's my health? Potions. Left is health, right is stamina. Stamina is just like in Breath of the Wild. It's what you use uh, to climb mountains and stuff. Uh, what have I got here? I guess I can carry that. I don't know if there's a reason to. Can I put it somewhere to make a Korok appear? You put it over here? Hmm. I don't know. Can jump with B. Uh, I can start dashing if I hold down Y. The siren song on his mechanical wing. He wore a pair stolen from Circe's weaponarium and massage parlor. You know that Odysseus visited Circe after Polyphemus. But go on. Phoenix was not so lucky. Wingless. She just had to believe. Uh, she has wings. There they are. Phoenix hurdled through the air. And then... So yeah, you glide... Just like the paraglider in Breath of the Wild. By the gods, I can fly. I was already using these abilities. And she's had them the entire time. Oh, okay. She just had to I guess that's kind of funny. Hmm.
Alright then. Got a treasure? New weapon, Envy. Okay. Uh, again, we've got the real weird thing where you've got to navigate the menu using a little cursor. I don't know why that is. Envy, 22% chance to triple. Oh, I see. So the swords do different base damage? It's not showing me that information. Doesn't look like the, the base damage is different, so let's try this one. Break everything. Uh, health regen. It filled up the, the the chunk. You can see my health just below me now. It's filled up that that uh, section, but it hasn't gone to the next section. Like like it said in the um difficult on the difficulty screen. So I guess that makes sense. Uh, not too hard to understand. Is this the island of the sirens? I don't really know what that is. The secret of the gods in her clutches. She would rule over all Olympus. You know she's trying to save all of you. Why would she do that? Maybe because we gave the mortals fire. Yeah, I yeah. chained you to a rock for all eternity as punishment. Good point. Why is she trying to help you? Exactly. Oh, something there. What's that? Blue mushroom. Oh, okay. It's gonna do a bit of a bit of a breath of the wild climb here. And yeah, you can eat eat stuff to replenish stamina mid climb, like you can in Breath of the Wild. Very similar. I seem to start with a lot of stamina, so I don't really need to replenish it too much. Okay, what is that thing? I'm guessing I want to get that. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's Ambrosia. Okay, it looks a lot less like orange juice in this game. Upgrade my maximum health? Yeah, that sounds good. Did that just upgrade max my max health when I grabbed it? I don't know. Cersei and Poseidon would never give up until the mortal fell. Why is Poseidon a bad guy in this game? That's weird. Harry. You see, Phoenix knew the truth. Odysseus was a spy sent by mortals to steal the secret of the gods from the Cyclops. Polyphemus. Gesundheit. What does that mean? What does what mean? Anyway, Cersei uh. and Poseidon would never let Phoenix seize the secret. All right. If you say so. Yep, double jump.
Is this like a stealth bit? Yes. I could use a hail. Boop. New gear, dark glare mask. Is that good? Um, apparently I'm wearing Valor of the Soldier Helm, but I can't see it. Oh, I see. It, it just doesn't show by default. Plus 20 defense. Let's go to try. Oh, we've got the plate as well. Oh, okay. So that one boosts your stamina, and this one boosts your boosts your health. All right. Yeah, I have one fewer stamina chunk now because I switched it out. Interesting. Take that, pillows. <laughs> it looks like I'm not getting anything by smashing stuff, so I probably shouldn't really bother to smash all this stuff, but it's fun, so I might keep doing it. Uh, shiny crystal? Oh, um, well I broke the shiny crystal. I, I don't know if I was supposed to do that. I think I got some stuff. But I don't know what the stuff is that I got. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I got into a cutscene. There's a, an animal, like a, a elk or something. Hey you, what the the Skip, it's a minotaur. Oh. with Hades that weekend? Did I say Cerberus? I meant a griffin. Oh, all right. to escape from Polyphemus. No, a liar. This will be a flock of roosters. Oh, good call. You're not serious. The roosters of the sea. Uh. Summoned by Poseidon to crack up a storm. Uh, okay. This seems silly. I'm saying this as a friend. You need to cool it with the herbs. You get paranoid. It's awkward. Anyway, 
Phoenix felt the invisible right. hands of her ancestors, giving her the strength to move mountains. That's not All the right. strength of her ancestors. She's wearing the bracers of Heracles. This isn't some magical object that renders heavy things light. Prometheus, it's life. I assume I just need to duplicate the pattern by moving these around. Also, this writing is really annoying. <laughs> it's, it's just super annoying. I don't know what they were going for, but it, it doesn't, doesn't work. What's this? Something that's locked? I don't know what it does. Oh, here's chest. Give me more cool stuff. Wings of the Dreadful. I think wing changes are just cosmetic, like they don't have a, an associated chain, like buff. I think. I'm gonna have a quick look. Yeah. I like them. They look awesome. It's said that these wings are weighted by the pain of a once beautiful woman turned into a beautiful gorgon. Smash, 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 smash. I guess I'm looking for more of those orbs, but I don't know where to find them. So I'm gonna go to here? I can't interact with this thing yet. I need to do whatever this is first. So I guess I'll go look for some more orbs. Uh, here's a feather button. I don't know what that button does. Oh, orbs, there we go. At least an orb. Can't grab that. Is this I can pull object? Is it these things? No. What object? This is very confusing. <laughs> oh, and there's a little button there. Does that do something special? Uh, it locks me out of leaving. Does that help me at all? Um, okay, I can send the button like that. Oh, but I can't get to the other side. Hmm. Do I need to bring the crate with me? Can I open this again? Oh, okay. So that's what the crate is doing. It's opening that in the first place. So I do need to leave it there. And I need to use something else on this side, I guess. But I don't know what, because I can't see anything that I can interact with. I can't, like, remotely grab it or anything. Oh, I can. Oh, okay, I see. Can I push this button? Then I can grab it. Okay. That wasn't explained very well. <laughs> okay, then I just want to throw it up there. Then I can get this. Okay, then we have another orb.
God, we're still one short, though. So there must be another, like, little challenge I can do around here somewhere. Maybe over this way? Alright then. So yeah, we've got another little puzzle of some sort here. Is it like it needs more weight than one crate? It needs two. Uh, two things. Alright. Uh, oh, I see. There's a feather on there, so that doesn't need something that's light. And then this one needs something that's heavy? Oh. Oh. I, <laughs> I tried to grab the orb through the wall. Can I push this? Yes. Okay, so I can put this heavy crate on the switch that needs a heavy crate. And I can put the other crate on the switch that needs a light crate. The one with the feather on it. Okie dokie. Is there anything else of interest in here? Mm, doesn't look like it. Okay. Uh, so that's that puzzle done. Oh, I made a constellation. Oh, uh, okay. Following in Odysseus's footsteps, Phoenix was ready to break the curse and learn the secret, or die trying. This is a side quest. No one dies on a side quest until now. You can't tilt the controller to aim, by the way. You have to use the right stick. Um, which is sort of okay, but... As, you know, someone who's played Breath of the Wild, in which you can use the, the tilt the controller to aim, and that works really well... Yeah. It's, it's not ideal. Oh, that's what Apollo's arrow does. Like, the arrow flies away by itself. There we go. I don't really know how to get more potions. I assume I can, like, turn my mushrooms and stuff into potions somehow, but I don't know how. Hello, little phoenix. Okay, I got 161 little blue things. Don't know what they do, but I got them. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I can see a potion bottle on my compass, so maybe I'm about to learn how that works. Ah, so you see, Phoenix uncovered a set of targets. 
Philoctetes had carried his faithful weapon, the bow of Heracles, here to Crecy Island. Had a history. I have no idea what you just said. But clearly, Phoenix needs to use the bow of Odysseus, which she recovered from the Pegasus Netherverse, to light some stuff on fire. Uh. All right then. I don't, I don't. I don't like either of them. Like, if you think about the way the gods were written in a game like Hades, they're so much more compelling. <laughs> I mean, it's maybe not a fair comparison because that whole game is amazing, but I mean, it's the same characters. <laughs> um, it's still the, the gods. Okay, here's the. Cult to craft potions and improve their various effects with golden amber at the cauldron of Circe. Alright. Let the empty compliment die in the ensuing silence. And instead try to focus on potential potion recipes. If you say so. Just make everything we can, I guess. Um, we haven't got any golden amber, so we can't use any of these upgrades yet. All right then. I guess that's kind of cool. Probably can't climb all the way up there. Um, I need to find another way up. Just keep looking around, see what we can find. Glidey, glidey, glide. Mm, looks like you don't gain any more height if you if you boost. Like you're still descending at about the same rate. I mean, you're descending faster because you're you're flying forward faster. But what I, what I mean is you don't like descend less than you would if you weren't boosting. <clears throat> I explained that really badly. Hang on, let's switch back to the other armor because that one gave me a boost to my stamina. Hmm, I still don't think I'll have enough. I might need to use a potion. Okay. Climby, climby, climby. So yeah, very Breath of the Wild. You can double jump in this game, which is nice. That isn't an option in, in Breath of the Wild.
Oh, there we go. This is the guy. Okay. So now we have the siren song, we can free him somehow? Oh, we're not gonna play it? We just have to hold it? And just like that, Phoenix freed the Cyclops from Cersei's curse. Why Cyclops? What is the secret of the gods? The Cyclops turned to her and spoke. Phoenix, a secret has been inside you all along. What? Okay. The Cyclops said, I am but a small piece of a planet that is alive. How is that a secret? I've traveled back through time to prevent a terrible future from occurring. What is that evil? I see that evil. Oh, come on. Actually, the Cyclops bellowed. I smell human flesh. I'm going to liquefy your insides into an amphora after I toast your organs with my laser. Lasers? Yes, lasers, Prometheus. Are you a child? The Cyclops will focus the light of the sun with a single eye. All right. You need a magnifying glass. No one asked you. Oh, wait, wait, she can hear them? Uh, okay. I guess I'm fighting the Cyclops now. I don't know why he's so mad at me. Like, I freed him from a curse. I keep trying to mash Y to, to attack, because that's usually the attack button, but here it's dodge. It's very weird. Kind of getting the hang of it. I don't know, the combat's complicated and kind of weird. Ow! Ooh. 
Oops, I meant to heal, but I pressed minus. <laughs> So we uncursed that guy and then we murdered him? So no secret of the gods after all. Huh? You have lost, O Zeus. Not one truth in the entirety of this ridiculous tale you have spun. I, Prometheus, am triumphant. What do you have to say for yourself? No, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I was eating. You're right. This is so juicy. The fruit of Gaia. What can I say? Never make a bet when you're chained to a rock. Actually, that's the secret of the gods. Oppression. Hey, did I just win the bet? Wow, I hate you. Uh, oh, what's happening? I'm not pressing any buttons. This is like a cutscene. Oh. Oh, that was the whole demo? Huh. <sighs> yeah, that's the whole demo. Okay. Um, well, I guess I can't really do any more first thoughts after that. It's kind of fun. Um... <sighs> I don't like the writing. I really don't like the writing. The characters are not likable. Um, I mean, like Hades, right, has the same characters, the same like snarky narrator that the protagonist is aware of, and that game is fantastic. Uh, it's just so much better written than this one. I don't, I don't really understand what they were going for here because it's real bad. Uh, Gameplay-wise, it's okay, I, I, I guess. It's kind of fun. Um, I'm not sure I super like the combat. Um, like, going around and finding stuff is fun. It's, you know, it's it was fun in Breath of the Wild. It's going to be fun in this game that plays very similarly to Breath of the Wild, but uh, I don't super like the combat system. Uh, I think the button mappings are weird and confusing. Um, I really wish they'd put more effort into writing something that wasn't obnoxious and unpleasant to listen to. <laughs> uh, Gameplay-wise, it's fine. Visuals, it, it looks nice. Um, like, on the Switch, it doesn't look worse or anything. I mean, it probably does. I haven't played the other versions, but it looks fine on the Switch. It's not a problem or anything. Um, <sighs> Gameplay, fine. Graphics, fine. Like, general sound design is fine. Writing and voice acting, real bad. And that seems to be a major part of this story. And having so many unlikable characters is just a big problem if you're going to have, like, a focus on the story and, and you know, an, an omnipresent pair of narrators who will keep arguing with each other and are obnoxious. <laughs> yeah, like, if you want, you know, a story about the Greek gods that's a, that's, that's a video game and it's got, you know, a snarky narrator and a protagonist who's, who's fun and, and silly and stuff, you play Hades. Play Hades Supergiant, because <laughs> it's the same characters, only they're wet, written really well. <laughs> um, if you want to play, you know, a Breath of the Wild sort of game, then I guess you could play Breath of the Wild. Or possibly Genshin Impact, which I've heard is very similar, but I haven't played that one yet either, so I can't comment on it. Um, but yeah, I don't super like this one. 
And I think the demo should be a bit longer. I mean, I wasted a lot of time trying to figure out some figure out I was supposed to do some pretty basic puzzles. And it still lasted me less than an hour all up. Like with all my, you know, just talking about things and watching all the cutscenes through and fiddling with the menus and all that stuff. I feel like a demo should probably last about an hour at least. If you're doing a really good demo, like the one for Dragon Quest Builders 2, it can go a lot longer. That one's like probably three, four hours of gameplay. It's pretty great. Um, but this is just real short. Also, like, it just resets the demo when you're done. You can't even stay in open world mode and just explore around. Even though it's an open world exploration focused game, it, it, it's just an unpleasant way of doing things. I assume that's because it's Ubisoft and that's the thing they do, that they're, they're pretty customer hostile. But... Yeah. Yeah. If, if you want a open world adventure climbing on things game, there's several of those already that I think are better than this one. And if you want a game about Greek gods that has really good story and writing and is, is super compelling, Hades. Play Hades. Honestly, play Hades anyway, because it's just fantastic. It's such a good game. But especially if you want, you know, a Greek god story, because it's about the Greek gods, and it's super duper good. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Um, you know I don't like to be negative about games when I don't, like, in these videos, so I'm a little disappointed that this didn't impress me more. Um... I think if the demo had been a little bit longer and I'd gotten to do a bit more exploring rather than go here, go here, that's it, then I might have enjoyed it more. Uh, but the way they've designed it, uh, is that they haven't made a good impression with the demo, I suppose. Um, and my understanding is that those two narrators keep arguing and being annoying and unfunny for the entire game. So, yeah. <sighs> Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye!